Often, the human mind finds itself limited by self-imposed barriers. The truth is that reality is not just what we see or touch, but what we feel and how we interpret these feelings. It's a complex symphony of perceptions. Desire in its purest form reflects our inner self-desire is the vital force that moves us, and its realization is directly related to the clarity and purity of that will will. Without desire, we're like a flame. Without oxygen, but a genuine desire free of ego and material ambition, can lead us to enlightenment meditation has the power to connect us with the fourfold self with this expanded reality. Many seekers have a limited perception of themselves and the world through meditation. They can realize that they aren't just the body, but a soul that inhabits it, a consciousness not bound by time. And Space many people have observed events before they actually happened in this three-dimensional world. If humans can predict an event before it happens in the three dimensions of space, then life on Earth must follow a plan. This plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and move slowly through. Our space, if the observed events weren't yet in this world, logically, they were outside of it, anything seen. There, before occurring here, must be predetermined from the perspective of someone awake in this three-dimensional world. So can we change our future? Humans can change the future. Once altered, it realigns, creating a new trajectory from the change point of future that harmonizes with this change. The magic of human destiny lies in its adaptability. We are more shaped by our beliefs and feelings than by our actions. The foundation of our existence is the image we have of ourselves, our actions and experiences are reflections of this self-image. If we saw ourselves in a new light, our actions would differ changing. How we see ourselves automatically alters the course of our future. Any shift in our life trajectory reshapes our self-image. Underestimated attitudes can have significant impacts so recognizing. Our creative power is crucial. Every transformation starts in our consciousness. The future, even if meticulously planned, has multiple possibilities with every decision we make. We stand at a crossroads of destinies, choosing between multiple possible futures. We all have two worldviews, one earthly and the other spiritual. The ancients referred to them as the carnal mind and the mind of Christ. We can see them as everyday consciousness guided by our senses and imagination, driven by our deepest desires. This duality is evident in the statement the natural man doesn't understand the things of the Spirit of God to the earth. Earthly vision reality is the immediate present, while past and future are. Abstractions the spiritual vision sees beyond grasping time in its entirety where past and future are as tangible as physical objects around us for this elevated view. What has been and what will be coexist in the present, what's abstract and subjective for the earthly man becomes tangible and real for the spiritual man on the spiritual plane. What often limits our vision is relying solely on our senses rendering us blind to the intangible to truly see the invisible we sometimes need to divert our mind from sensory evidence and focus on the intangible feeling and visualizing until it becomes as real as the physical world deep focused thought can block out distractions and fully immerse us in a desired reality focusing on the desired state is key to visualizing it the act of diverting our attention from the sensory world and concentrating it on the realm of the invisible enhances our spiritual vision allowing us to see beyond the tangible sense creation the invisible can be clearly perceived by those who seek this ability to see isn't dependent on our phys physical senses cultivate and value it without its spiritual truths remain inaccessible as they are discerned only by this elevated vision through practice we discover astounding power by controlling our imagination we can shape our future in tune with our desires desire is the driving force behind all our actions without it we wouldn't move a finger everything we do is driven by the dominant desire in our hearts when we overcome an addiction it's because the desire to beat it is stronger than to keep it. The desires that move us are those that capture our attention. Desire is the recognition of something we lack, something that would make our existence more complete. Every desire at its core seeks personal benefit. The greater the expected reward, the more burning the desire. There's no wholly altruistic desire without a benefit in sight. Desire wanes and action dissipates. The spiritual man communicates with the earthly man through the language of desires. The key to advancing in life and achieving our dreams lies. In the immediate response to this call, promptly obeying this voice is like instantly embracing the realized desire. Desiring something is in a way already owning it. As Pascal wisely said, you wouldn't have sought me if you hadn't already found me by embracing the feeling of a realized desire and acting with that conviction, we change the future in tune. With that belief, our convictions have the power to 
materialize what they affirm as soon as we internalize the feeling of a realized desire, our fourfold being plots ways. To materialize it, it reveals methods to make this desire a reality. I can't think of a clearer way to manifest our desires than experiencing in our imagination what we'd feel if we'd already achieved our goal. This imaginative experience provides the means for its realization with its expanded vision. Our fourfold self orchestrates the necessary means to achieve the desired end, however an untrained mind might find it. Hard to accept a state that contradicts sensory perceptions, but there's a technique that facilitates predicting events before they happen, allowing us to invoke what's not yet visible as if it were already reality. Many underestimate the power of the simple formula for Shaping the future was discovered after years of investigation and experimentation, the first step to redefine the future is to have a clear desire, know exactly what you want, then visualize an event symbolizing the realization of that desire with you as the protagonist. The third step is to relax the body to a near sleep state. Sit down, relax, and with closed eyes, focus on the action you want to experience. Imagine yourself fully engaged in that action as if it's happening here now. Remember, you must be at the center of this action, experiencing it fully. Don't be a mere spectator, genuinely immerse yourself in the action, as if you're living it in order for this imaginative experience to become tangible. It's crucial to remember that the envisioned action should be the direct consequence of the realization of your desire. You must immerse yourself in this action until it becomes as vivid and concrete as reality. For example, if your wish is to get promoted at work, receiving a congratulation would be an event following the realization of that wish. After choosing this specific action to visualize, relax your body and reach a state of drowsiness, but remain in control of the direction of your thoughts in this relaxed yet alert. State imagine a co-worker in front of you, extend your imaginary hand and feel the firmness of their handshake and gait. In an imaginary conversation aligned with the desired action, don't view yourself from the outside. As if you're watching a scene from a distant point, instead be present living the moment feeling that we're experiencing this moment here and now, rather than just observing ourselves from the outside makes all the difference transforming a distant place to here and the future to now is about bringing the reality of a dimensionally higher world world into the present in our everyday three-dimensional world. This merging of space and time is vital. The difference between feeling actively involved in an action and just seeing oneself doing something is what separates success from failure to understand this try. Visualizing yourself climbing a ladder now now with your eyes closed, imagine there's a ladder right in front of you and genuinely feel yourself ascending each step the desire physical stillness on the brink of sleep and the imaginative action where you feel present here and now are not only vital to shape the future but are also essential conditions to consciously project the spiritual self when our physical body is still we become more receptive to the idea of undertaking an action by imagining we are effectively doing something here and now and holding that imaginative scene until sleep engulfs us. It's possible to awaken outside our physical body. We may find ourselves in a more expansive world, experiencing with heightened perception what we desired and imagined doing in the material world. However, whether we wake up in that plane or not, we are indeed executing this action in the fourth dimensional world and eventually, this action will manifest here in the three-dimensional world. My experience has shown the importance of choosing a specific imaginative action, condensing the idea into a single act and repeating it in our mind until it feels real. Otherwise, our attention might scatter getting drawn to a series of images and associated thoughts, which in moments can divert us miles from our initial goal lost in the vast expanses of imaginative space years away way in time if we choose for example to climb a specific section of a ladder because that's the action that would likely follow the realization of our wish then we should focus exclusively on climbing that section if we get distracted it's essential to return to the action of climbing that specific section repeating it in our mind until it feels as real as tangible reality the idea is for this visualization to happen effortlessly with the sensation of the realized wish filling our mind naturally drowsiness can assist in this process as it facilitates this effortless attention. However, we shouldn't fall asleep completely losing control over where our attention is directed The Ideal state is a light relaxation where we still have mastery over our thoughts and even more effective way to 
Materialize a desire is to feel body and soul, as if it's already accomplished and then in a deep relaxation state repeat short phrases symbolizing the fulfillment of that desire like a mantra a phrase like thank you for example, can be used as if we're thanking a higher force for already granting. Our request however if what we seek is a conscious projection into a more expansive plane we should hold on to. That imaginative action until sleep engulfs us experience in your imagination with all the vivacity of reality. What you would feel if your desire were realized over time, you'll perceive it in the physical world just as you experienced it in your mind feed your mind with premises that is statement. You consider true even if they seem unreal to the senses. If you persist in them until they feel real, they will manifest as truths in your life. Once once a premise is assumed, it mobilizes all the necessary resources to make it a reality imagination, is the foundation of faith and hope. Each of us carries a tool more potent than all the world's weapons combined. It's our ability to imagine to dream to desire with it. We can create any reality we wish. Imagination is the lens through which we see our future, so don't let it be blurred by fears and doubts. Keep it clear, always pointing towards what you aim to achieve. Cultivate the ability to visualize, to believe, to desire. This is the formula of creation. Through it, you won't just shape your future but become the master of your own destiny. Through dynamic meditation, we can release suppress emotions and achieve a deep state of relaxation. And in the silence of this experience, we catch glimpses of our fourfold self and the expansiveness of our existence. When we talk about dreams and desires, we often believe that satisfaction lies in the external world. True satisfaction is in recognizing the divine within us. Just as a lake reflects the moon, our soul reflects the divine. And it's this reflection that should guide our desires we can enter a deep state of ecstasy just by recognizing our true nature when we feed our mind. With positive affirmations and premises we align with the universe and magic, happens celebration is a way to thank the divine for everything we have and are. And when we celebrate not just with our body but with our soul we attract more reasons to rejoice the law of attraction isn't just a theory. It's a reality the key to shaping the future isn't just in visualizing or desiring but in recognizing the divinity in us and everything around us. It's this awareness that gives us the power to transcend limitations and embrace the infiniteness of being. And by doing so, we become co-creators of our reality harmonized with the cosmic flow of the universe.